A viewer called us in a panic, saying his family home was sold on Easter Sunday without any notice. We've covered several instances of local governments taking action against a private property and not notifying people involved, even if they've paid all their taxes. And that's what Chief Investigative Reporter Berkeley Green found here. Burke? Deanna, but what I also found was a home that is unlivable, dangerous, and a problem for the neighborhood. But we wondered how a town and the county's public administrator can trigger the sale of a house and not tell the person who pays the taxes. All right, we'll get there somehow. In order to get to Terry Stephanie's family home on Clem Road in Webster, we had to carefully cut our way through a jungle of thorn bushes. I told you this house was in bad shape. Two years ago, the town says it got complaints from neighbors. Last year, the county social workers removed Terry from the home because of the conditions. The fire marshal took these photos inside. But this is the home Terry grew up in. And while his late parents are on the deed, he pays the taxes and utilities and it's an emotional place to be. That's where our first dog is buried, right there. Her name was Jeannie. So lots of memories back here. <laughs> My whole life. <laughs> At Thanksgiving, the town of Webster asked the county's public administrator to deal with the property. In February, a court granted permission. The public administrator deals with estates where the people have died. On Easter Sunday, the home was put on the market. In a matter of hours, a private bid was accepted for $39,900. Were you notified at all that it no. was being sold? No. So you never got a phone call? No. Never got a letter? A letter? Nothing. Do you have any warning that your house was on the auction block? No, not at all. I've done several stories like this. In January, Karen Lassard's home in Greece was sold at a county tax auction because she owed $67 in property taxes from five years ago. No one told her our story canceled the sale. Last month, the city put this home on the demolition list, even though all the taxes are paid up. The property manager told me he had no idea. The Webster Town Supervisor told me it's been difficult to deal with this property because it's still in the name of Terry's parents who died more than 25 years ago. Terry, I got to be honest with you. I mean, this is uninhabitable. It's, it's not in good shape. I, I, Why are you so upset that it was sold? All my possessions are here. We were, we're, we're going to rebuild this. I want my house back. Uh, then I will have it put totally in my name. I want my house back. So I started calling on this uh, Monday morning. Yesterday, a lawyer for the town of Webster put a pause on the sale because Terry Stephanie was, quote, not provided notice of the sale. The court also named a guardian for Terry, and there was a hearing over the sale of this home in two weeks and a hearing to see whether Terry is competent to handle his parents' estate. Berkeley Green News 10, NBC.